My name is Matthew Barr and I'm the Minor Maintenance Manager here at our Rockdale location for Riot Platforms. Today we're in Building G and we're here to take a look at the M56 Miners produced by Micro BT. So here's our test tank of M56 Miners that we've had running since late 2022. Micro BT's made some very impressive claims regarding the hash rate and efficiency and we really wanted to make sure of that ourselves on our own site before we made any decisions regarding future purchases. So it's no secret here in Texas, it can get very hot. And we've noticed that the M56 miners withstand that heat much better than previous model miners. My team has experienced less downtime due to overheating machines when working with the M56S. On the occasion an error code does appear, we noticed that it was typically for preventative maintenance and not necessarily a complete shutdown of the machine. MicroBT has even gone so far as to provide a full glossary of their error codes on their website for their customers to use, which has been something our team has been very appreciative of. Our current tanks have these PDUs above the miners. With our S19 miners, these power individual machines to around 3,000 watts. With the new M56S's requiring 5,000 watts, we needed to redesign these PDUs. Our in-house electricians were able to modify their design to power them, as you can see here. Now the great thing about the M56S's is that they come pre-built for immersion, removing a lot of man hours that we previously had to dedicate towards just prepping the machine as far as removing the fans, installing emulators, and upgrading firmware. With our current tank configuration, we are able to fit 16 M56's, which produces similar or better results to our current configuration of 32 S19's to a tank. This further adds to less maintenance needed across our sites. Overall, we're very happy with these new machines and we're looking forward to putting them to use in our new Corsicana facility. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.